everybody, welcome to class today. Um, it is freezing cold here right now, so we're going to do a hit yoga class, get nice and warm. Um, so it's going to be pretty high intensity, combining a bit of yoga, a bit of hit. So get ready to sweat, and we'll start at the top of the mat. As always, taking a moment to connect to the breath, so bring the hands to heart center, ground down evenly through both feet. Take an inhale through the nose, fill the belly, and then exhale through the mouth. And then start to breathe in and out through the nose. And then blink the eyes open, inhale, sink the hips, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees generously for the first one. Inhale, bring it back to chair. Exhale, to stand. A few more like that. Inhale, chair, sink the hips. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stand. Continue. Make sure that your knees are tracking directly over the ankles and that you're really sitting the bum back. Take about three more like this. Starting to connect the breath to movement. And then as you inhale, return to chair. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Take the weight over to the left, step the right leg back, inhale, crescent, exhale, hands to heart center, step the right leg forward, inhale, exhale, step the left leg back, inhale, crescent, exhale, hands to heart center, step the left leg forward, inhale, exhale, step the right leg back, inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, hands to center as you step forward. Inhale. Exhale, left leg. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands to center. Step it forward. And then keep going like this for a few more each side. Inhale in center. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, crescent. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale, exhale forward, inhale, exhale right, inhale, exhale forward, inhale, exhale left, inhale, exhale forward, one more each side, inhale, exhale right, inhale, exhale forward, inhale, Exhale left, inhale, exhale forward, and then fold. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. Exhale, step one foot back at a time to plank. We'll hold for about five breaths, really setting up a strong foundation here. Shoulders over the wrists, strong through the legs, long through the spine. And then on your next inhale, shift the weight forward, hug the elbows in, lower halfway down, chaturanga, lower the knees if you need to. Inhale, press up to plank. And then as you exhale, you're going to roll to the outside edge of the right foot, side plank. Inhale here. Exhale, take the hand down, lower to chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale to the left. Inhale, open the right arm to the sky. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, to the right. Inhale, reach. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, left. Inhale, reach. 
exhale chaturanga one more each side inhale exhale inhale whoop, wobbly exhale chaturanga inhale exhale left inhale exhale chaturanga inhale plank exhale downward facing dog and take a couple of breaths to pedal out through the feet shift it forward on your inhale and then exhale lower all the way to the belly take three rolling cobras inhaling as you peel up exhaling as you roll down And then stay here with Cobra, or you can move the hands back by the lower ribs, wrists under the elbows, press the tops of the feet, raise the knees, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the hands, step or jump the feet to the outsides of the hands, and then jump it back to plank. Five more. Forward backwards and then sink down into malasana low squat drawing the hands to the heart center knees gently pressing apart with the elbows gently pressing the knees apart with the elbows is what I meant to say there we're reaching the sternum forward and up and then we're going to repeat that but we're going to add a chaturanga so from here you're going to plant the hands come into chaturanga jump inhale plank exhale feet around the hands inhale here and then as you exhale jump back chaturanga inhale plank Exhale, jump the feet. And then we'll take that upper notch. So inhale here. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then you can move that to the pace of your breath. And do about five more from here. Always feel free to drop the knees if you need to. One more and we'll meet in Malasana. So come back into your squat. Take a nice deep inhale. And then slowly exhale. One more like that. So the aim is to try and slow down the heart and control the breathing as quickly as you can. And from here, we're slowly going to rise all the way into standing. So we're going to do it to the count of 10. So start to slowly raise your hips up. 10. Keep the knees pointing out. 9. 8. Spine long. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. Two, one, and then we're going to go back down the same way. So keep the knees pointing outwards as you slowly lower down. And when I say that, I mean your knees are tracking directly in line with your toes. Don't let them cave in towards the center line. Keep sinking your bum backwards. And then lower all the way down into your squat. Take an inhale. And then exhale, plant the hands. Jump, step back to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra or skip it. And then exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, take the right leg up. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. 
inhale, exhale, cross, right knee, left elbow, two more, inhale, exhale, right knee, right elbow, inhale, exhale, cross, last time, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, cross, and then this time shoot the right leg out, come into fallen triangle, inhale, sweeping the arm up, and then as you exhale, we're going to take thread the needle, so sweep the left arm underneath the right, inhale, just two more, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, sweep it up, exhale, plant the hand, take it back, three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, step the right leg all the way forward, inhale, crescent lunge, exhale, dip the left knee, inhale, exhale, dip, inhale, exhale, dip, inhale, exhale, take the hands down, vinyasa or straight to dog. Inhale the left leg, exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, exhale to cross. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, cross. Last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, cross, kick the left leg out, inhale, fallen triangle, outside edge of the left foot, inside edge of the right, inhale here, exhale, sweep the right arm under, inhale, exhale, inhale, last one, exhale, inhale, exhale, plant the right hand, swing the left leg up and back behind you. And then exhale, step it through. Inhale, raise up, crescent. Exhale, dip the knee. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Plant the hands, vinyasa, or skip it. Look towards the top of the mat, step or hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise all the way up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Three more rounds of Surya Namaskar A. Look towards the front of the mat. Step or hop. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or jump. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Look towards the front. Step or jump. Inhale, halfway, exhale, fold, inhale, two more rounds, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, look towards the top, step or jump, inhale, exhale, inhale, Last round, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, sweep the right leg up, exhale, open the hip, opening the knee up towards the sky. Stay here or start to slowly step the right foot back behind you, landing on the ball of the right foot. Opening the right arm to the sky, wild thing. Inhale here. Exhale, start to come out of it. 
take the right hand back to the floor and then sweep the right leg underneath coming into a side plank with the right leg lifted or you can rest the toes on the floor and then we're going to come back out so rotate that right leg back up to the sky stay in the hip opener or open it all the way to wild thing exhale bring it all the way back through to the modified side plank one more time take it into the hip opener or open it all the way into wild thing making sure you're staying stable through the left shoulder and then rotating it back through to that modified side plank making sure the wrist is under the shoulder take it back three-legged dog inhale exhale step the right leg forward inhale crescent lunge and then exhale take the hands to the hips we're going to take some jump lunges so you don't have to come down super far if that's not comfy on your knees you can stay here in a mini lunge take an inhale here bend the knee and then as you exhale you're just going to jump off the feet landing lightly making sure that that front knee stays over its ankle eight two more nine ten inhale crescent and then exhale straighten the front leg come into extended pyramid pose drawing back through the right hip and then you might want something to give you a little bit of height I need blocks but I don't have any so I'm just going to come up onto the fingertips of my hands we're going to come through into a pistol squat so inhale reach the sternum forward and then as you exhale start to bend into the front leg bring the left knee in towards the chest and then shoot it forward in front of you so the foot may raise you might need to keep it on the floor and you might be able to bring the hands off the floor and balance at heart center take one more inhale here and then we're going to reverse the movement so start to bring the left heel in towards the bum and then shoot it back behind you we're coming into standing splits so the left leg comes high inhale the sternum long exhale dip down and then we're going to bring it all the way up into standing so ground down through the right foot start to bring the left knee up in towards the chest as you come to standing give the knee a squeeze inhale and then exhale come through warrior three so bring the hands to heart center and then stay here or maybe extend the arms out in front of you take an inhale and then as you exhale bend through the right knee inhale straighten exhale inhale just one more exhale try and keep that knee facing forward exhale take an inhale in warrior three exhale standing splits inhale here exhale send the left leg back exhale your choice downward dog or take it through a vinyasa now we get to do it all on the other side so inhale sweep the left leg up exhale open the hip stay here or open into wild thing and then as you exhale rotate it back through center swinging the left leg underneath you shifting into side plank on the left left leg hovers or toes can tap exhale yourself through center open the hip or flip it and then bring it back to side plank inhale open exhale take it up flip it inhale here and then exhale bring it all the way back through inhale to open exhale shift it back downward dog 
inhale here, exhale, step the left leg forward, inhale, raise up, crescent lunge, take the hands to the hips, bend yourself a little bit deeper, and we'll take 10 jump lunges here, so inhale to prepare, and then exhale to your own pace. Making sure that that right, sorry, that left front knee stays right over its ankle. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, straighten the front knee, extended pyramid. Inhale, extend the sternum. Exhale to fold. And then start to bend the front knee. Have your blocks handy if you need them. Bring the right knee in towards the chest, heel in towards the bum, and then shoot it through. I've also heard this called roller skating pose. It's like those waitresses from back in the 70s. Sit up nice and tall. Maybe hover the leg. Maybe play around with bringing the hands off to balance. Much better on this side. And then bring the hands back down. Bring the heel back in towards the bum. Take the right leg to the sky, standing splits. Inhale the sternum. Exhale, fold it in. And then start to bring that knee in towards the chest as you come up to standing. Giving the knee... A bit of a hug once you get there. And then taking the hands to heart center, shifting yourself forward into warrior three. And staying here with the hands at the heart center, maybe hands on the hips, maybe the arms extend in front. Inhale, exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, keep going, two more. Try and keep that left hip Hugging directly underneath you. And take one more inhale and warrior three. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, low lunge. And then your choice, downward dog or take it through a vinyasa. And inhale, shift it forward, bring the feet together, exhale, come into side plank on the right, any modifications are welcome, lift the left leg, and then you're going to take the left leg in front of you, tap the toes to the floor, and then as you exhale, take them behind. And we're going for 10. Try and keep long through the spine. Eight, nine, ten. Inhale nice and tall here. Exhale, take it back through plank. Roll to the left side. Inhale, extend yourself long. Exhale, lift the right leg. And then tap in front and behind. Bring it back to centre. Take it to plank. Your choice, downward dog or through a vinyasa. And then look towards the top of the mat. Step or lightly hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, balance chair. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, you're going to come up onto the toes and start to bend the knees, lowering yourself down, 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 down into ball of yarn. So hug the opposite uh, hand to the opposite elbow. Make yourself into a little ball staying up on the toes. 
and then take the arms out in front of you slowly lower the heels lower the bum navasana boat pose so you're going to stay here for about five breaths and i'm going to demonstrate the next pose as you do that so we're going to take a roll into a chaturanga jump through so it's going to look a little bit like this make sure you've got some room so you're going to come from boat pose you're going to roll back onto the shoulders get some momentum cross the ankles jump forward into chaturanga and then from here you're going to jump back navasana and then repeat so we'll we'll take the first one a little bit slow and then we'll pick up the pace so come into boat pose inhale Exhale, roll it back, get momentum, cross the ankles, jump through into chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, jump the feet through, navasana. And then we'll take about five. Take it at your own pace, but use momentum. The more momentum you can get, the easier it is to move through the jump and roll. And making sure that in your chaturanga, you keep your form. So keep the elbows close. Keep the lower belly lifted. Always feel free to drop the knees. And we'll take one more. And then meet back in the vasana. Just like nothing happened. Slow down the breathing. And then from here, slowly, you're going to plant the feet, roll all the way down onto the back. And then we'll take a bridge pose. So bring the feet a little bit closer to the bum, feet are parallel. Inhale here, and then exhale, slowly start to roll the spine off the floor. And then you can stay here, or you can start to draw the right knee in towards the chest. Inhale the leg up to the sky maybe draw five circles in one direction and then five in the other try and keep the hips even here it's starting to rain sometimes and then bring the leg back down and then try lifting up through the other leg doing a few circles in one direction and then back in the other direction And then bring it down, take an inhale, exhale, slowly roll it down. And then you can take another bridge or if you practice wheel pose, flip the hands over by the shoulders, elbows hug in, pointing towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift the hips. And then as you exhale, strong through the legs, come all the way up into wheel pose. And then maybe you walk it back and forward. Maybe you stay, play around, have some fun. And then to come down, tuck the chin, keep the elbows in, slowly roll it down. And then wherever you are, cactus the arms off to the side. Take the feet to match distance. And then just let the knees windshield wiper from side to side. And then draw the knees in towards the chest. And exhale, let them drop over towards the left. Slowing down the breath. And then bring yourself through center and then exhale it over to the right. And then in 
inhale yourself through center. Make your way up to a seated position. Cross the legs. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, reach forward as far as you can, keeping length in through the spine. And then bring the hands forward, crawling the hands forward. And maybe bringing a block to rest underneath the forehead. Or maybe stacking your fists. And this is where I'm going to leave you for today. Take this time just to slow the breath, slow the mind. Maybe take a stretch video after this. But today as you go forward, may you have renewed energy in your thoughts, joy in your words and a lightness in your heart. Namaste.